Maybe. The following radio program you're about to listen to is provided to you, the listener, by Inked Geek Studios. Get this and other great shows at inkedgeekstudios.com. Mind of a Geek is brought to you by the new Mind of a Geek t-shirt. Get yours today at tiny.cc slash IG swag. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mind of a Geek. I am your host, Nate, and I am joined, as always, by Brandon. As always. As always, you are rocking some of our Ain't Geek Studio oh, swag Mind tonight. of a Geek is brought to you by what? <laughs> the new Mind of a Geek t-shirt? Oh, that's right. That's right. Get yours at mindofageek.tinycc. I couldn't afford a better canvas. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to leave the show now. <laughs> Hey, I'm fatter than you are. <laughs> oh, oh, I am dejected. Anyway, I don't have you go here to pick on. I got to pick on you. You don't want to pick on me, though. I'm faster no, witted than you. You are. You are. I will get shown up quickly. Uh, our guest this evening is somebody who was supposed to be on last season, and I had to cancel. Uh, I met him at Nerdtacular uh, this past July. Uh, I have been excited to have him on for quite a while now. So uh, long time coming. Mike TV, welcome to Mind of a Geek. Thank you, thank you. It's 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 awesome to be here. It's a nice, it's a nice roomy mind you got here. Oh, why is? Oh, thank you. It's now the internet's. I told you, man. It's the night of everything's gonna go wrong. It's the, a robotic show. Now the internet's lagging. What is? Oh, now my oh my sound is all weird. No, 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 no. It's on my end because the Twitch stream is fucked up too. I bet something auto opened oh. that wasn't supposed to auto open, and I am gonna fix that now. Because tonight sucks, everybody, and I want to apologize to the live listeners, <laughs> although you are getting. Some sort of <laughs> shitty, fu- like literally, it was good to look. Now it's coming back. I yeah. bet it was something. So look, we're back. Mm. It's not lagging anymore. I once again apologize to the live audience. Uh, Mike, you still have that link up, right? For uh, wait, wait, for for the Hangouts link. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm watching you guys through the Google Hangouts. All right. Oh, okay, you want to you want to pop it pop out of the hangout and click that link again to rejoin because something is fucked up somewhere. Okay. Why can't we do this without error? It literally has been fine. <gasps> now do you sound good? That, I don't know. It's nothing on my end. Yeah, it sounds better. We'll see if it survives. I don't know what the hell it is. Nothing should be downloading. I no, I don't have closed. anything running. So yeah, I close like my. Well, all right, so- I do, I do know. So I've got, I, so my my sound setup. I actually have no, an no, Mbox. No, you sound like your sound quality is fine. It's this, it's roboting because for some reason, um, yeah, it's fine. Anyway, whatever, I'll make it okay. work. Uh, so how are you? Welcome to the show. I I can't apologize Thank enough you. to the live audience. Mike was so cool to have his live listeners raid the Twitch channel. And it's just it's it's been a shit night since then, and it pisses me off because I hate well, bad production. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I mean, I mean, whatever. It, it, it's the internet, man. Like, you know, it's like right. there's 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 always there's there's like a thirty percent gremlin, uh, you know, uh, like a tax you have to pay when you try to do anything via the internet. Yeah, no. Gremlins and Murphy's Law for sure. Yeah, yeah, amen. Indeed, indeed. So yeah, so again, you uh, you have uh, it's it's Mike Mike TV Live Twitch TV slash Mike TV Mike TV Live is where you exist on Twitch, and you do. I I popped in for a little while. Uh, yeah, around nine thirty yeah. or so, you're doing some live music. It was pretty good. I'm a fan. Thank you, sir. Yeah, yeah. That's that's. I mean, that that's been. Um... I've been I've been doing the whole Twitch thing now for a couple of years. I've been live streaming s- since 2010. Yeah, but I never I never actually took it seriously. Like, like I would I would do it to like uh, mm. to just to just like try out songs for my hardcore fans just to see like you know get some feedback. And then and then once I kind of knew what what I was going to put on the record, I would I wouldn't talk to them. I wouldn't stream for another year. You know. Right. 
But that must be how you ended up being successful, right? Never taking it too seriously and just having fun with it until you uh, yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that's the uh, that's and thus and that's how I made my millions. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> by not taking it seriously. That's how he made his millions, folks. By coming on Mind of a Geek and talking to the laggy podcasters. Right. Exactly. Aww. I'm uh yeah. I don't know. So you do you do your music. So what other kind of things do you have? on your channel or, or like how has it kind of grown like where what kind of content did you start with and what have you kind of moved into now well so yeah that that's actually a, a, that's actually a really interesting question because when i so i i've i've always been pretty prolific as a songwriter um i've always had you know i, I i've written maybe maybe two or three thousand songs be, be somewhere between two and three thousand songs since since i started writing songs wow about 20 years ago um and uh and, and you know, and, and but I, I I really was only able to play at any given moment about forty of them. You know, like I had sort of the hits. You know, the songs that the songs that were either like mostly was Grey's Anatomy songs, the songs that were big hits in the, in the old rock and roll scene that we were part of, and that was it. You know, and then and then and then whatever new record we were working on, I'd know because we would tour on that, and I'd, I'd know those songs. So it was always about forty songs. But once I started doing the whole the whole Twitch thing. Uh, you know, and I was trying to sustain four hours of playing music. I, I was like, all right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to really dive into my oeuvre. And uh, yeah, which I did. You know, like, like now I can now pull off about 300 of my songs. And, 300 uh, and I'm songs, writing, just top I've written of mind. 40 songs, 40 new songs over this past you know, year. And I'm, I'm going to keep adding, I'm going to keep adding, uh, I'm going to keep writing until I get another, about another 20 or 30 more. So, so that'll be over the next couple of months. And then wow. uh, crazy. Yeah. So you have three hundred songs that you can just pull out. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I can't, I, I can't play all of them by rote, but I've got chord charts and I've got and I've got lyric sheets and I can and I can pl I can pull it off there. Yeah. Wow. So as long as I, as long as I can, like, yeah, I can pull off about about a third of those by rote. Wow. Yeah. I'm that, no musician, but that seems stunning. Yeah, that seems really impressive. To just yeah, be able to know, pull them I, off I, like I, that. I, and 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 sometimes I think that, and then I see somebody with like a seven hundred song catalog, and I'm like, oh yeah, no, I'm I'm, I'm shit. No, although well, although although there's not that many people, I, I don't know anybody else. I I know that there are people with 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 a, a exceptionally large catalog of original songs. I don't know any other. I don't personally know anybody that has as many songs, uh, as many songs and as many songs as they can play as I do. So, well, um, that that seems to work out well, and you do the live show and I, again i popped on before we started with this and i like the setup that you have like it, it it looks very professional but it also seems very personal which is great for the live audience and uh, you know yeah. you have the live chat right there on your screen you're communicating in between songs like it seems like what you have goes for you very well and you obviously have a, a pretty damn good audience that seems fairly loyal to your music yeah. man my audience my my audience are are <laughs> I mean, it's it's crazy because this is like, so uh, back in, in about 2012, uh, you know, everybody starts migrating to streaming. You know, like they didn't, they weren't, they weren't full going full tilt. It wasn't until about 2013, 2014 that people started really kind of like adopting Spotify. And, you know, and and then Apple Music kind of jumped in, and there was like Rhapsody, and then, and then Tidal, and you know, but um. But man, that that really severely hurt me. Like the thing is, is that like I was because I you know I would I would I would make three maybe two three hundred bucks a month off of album sales, and that was and that was like you know like I I, I operate with very slim margins, you know, hmm. and um and so when that money went away, like I you know I lost a few thousand dollars a year, and that and that really really hurt. Me. Um and then uh, and then Twitch, yeah, man, like my Twitch audience. If, like, I mean, the thing is, that first off, it's ridiculous amounts of fun. Uh, I've got I've got a soundboard where you can like where basically my regulars they've got 300 sounds like movie quotes and sounds and uh, it's yeah it's it's and so and so it can be it can be totally sheer chaos at times because people are just blasting craziness as we're as we're playing you know right um, yeah I mean, yeah I, anyway yeah like, like my 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 chat my audience they, like they really make the whole show for me like like they like it's it's become a, this very cool intimate thing and, you know yeah it's 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 mind-blowing it's mind-blowing how much fun it is so what exactly happens on your show with your audience what do you guys do to create that connection with each other you play so, music and then they 
you know, I mean, well, I mean, I, you know, it's it's funny because the thing is, because you know, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, is like, it's like I guess, like, like really, it, it, often, often it will devolve into con- in, into a basic like like the thing is, is like, so you know, I, because <laughs> because I now am a hermit, just doing nothing but making music and 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 live streaming on Twitch. Um, uh, you know, my my basic human interaction is with my Twitch audience. You know, like that's mostly that's the most human like. And so, and so often, often I will bring all of the things I would bring to normally, I would bring to friends, like, hey guys, you know, here's, here's some weird insecurity that I currently have, mm-hmm. I'm dealing with, and, and they, go, they go, oh, we've got that same insecurity, and we start talking about it, and, then, and so between songs, and it's funny, because I, I, I always make sure that, that I'm playing songs while the conversation's happening, you know, the thing is, because like, cause I am a consummate live performer, and know that you can't, like, you can definitely interact with the audience, but you definitely, you can't like, I can't just be a talking head for 15 minutes. Like that's just no bueno, you know? Uh, can I, can I interrupt you for one second? Can we pop yeah. in and out of the hangout one more time and see if that works? If not, we'll hop over to discord. Sure. Sure. All right. I hate this. I do. It'll be fun. I'm, I'm, it is. All right. Let's give that one more shot. Okay. Hey, look, the robot's gone. Yeah, JF, yeah, yeah, yeah. keep your if, robots if it, away. If it, if it comes back, just you you should you should come up with like a hand signal, and if it comes back, just just like do the hand signal. I'll pop back in. I'll pop. Yeah. In <laughs> come up with a hand signal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but both of those work. If you guys do, if yeah, if, if you guys do both, of we're those. just gonna mime the rest of the fucking show. <laughs> Um, so that's cool though you've become a hermit and <laughs> that's cool you're a hermit and uh yeah yeah so yeah I, the interaction with your audience that way is great to be able to play and converse and i definitely very adult fred penner of you i'm not i don't get the reference <laughs> no you're not canadian yeah um <laughs> um and i relate totally to the the whole like the audience thing because other than this guy next to me like uh, so many of the people that i not, oh, everybody in real life fucking yeah, hates us. Yeah, not just not just trust, but also <laughs> confide in and have strong friendships with are people that I've met via podcasting or streaming or and that's Facebook. Really, social the groups. basis of all of this is to just be able to come on the camera and be real, right? Like you said, oh, I have insecurities. We do too, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I can't tell you how many times I come on here and just rant about stupid shit that I think is stupid but isn't. People like it. Well, maybe they like it. I don't know. Who knows. Yeah, I'm I mean, nothing I mean, if I, not you know, self-deprecating. I, guess, I mean, but it is, it's, it's funny because the thing is, is that like, there's like, there is, there's a strange sort of like, you know, I, I, I wouldn't even say, it, there's a strange, the people, the people that gravitate towards the friendships, like, like I have, I have friends I, that I made gaming that, that, I, that I've made, I made those friendships 15 years ago oh, and, yeah. I still, and they're still super close friends. Some of whom I've never met, some of whom live in Europe. But the thing is, is that like, but like, in fact, one of my buddies, one of my buddies, I've been friends with him easily 12, 13 years. He and his, he and his fiance are getting married and I'm finally flying out to the UK to go. Oh. To, I, I'm going to go play at their wedding and hang out. You oh, know, that's and, awesome. So that'll be the very, that'll be the very first time we've actually met in person, you know? So there is that. That's is, risky is, too. What if you wind up hating each other? <laughs> no, well, the thing is, no, he, you know, he and I, he and I have spent so much time, like, like it's, yeah, it, that's ridiculous. Like, like. I would be I would be blown away if 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 the right. chemistry did not maintain you know like, yeah because that <laughs> You're is great right on screen but in person man <laughs> yeah 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 because yeah. that was always yeah. a rule with me with gaming for the longest time like uh, I was a big WoW player and like I was a pretty heavy raider in WoW for a while and that was my rule was if I knew you in real life I wouldn't raid with you because you'd hate me oh really yeah oh Cause, yeah cause yeah I was, yeah flaming yeah the thing is yeah like like that's the thing is is it like for me like. And I used to, I was like, and I am, and I'm like, like, cause I, we used to do a lot of like lol and like, like, you know, we played, we played like lots of competitive games right. and I was the guy that would freak the fuck out at you. Know, oh, like, yeah. But the thing is, it's like, yeah, which, which was sad. And that, that's, that's since stopped. You know? <laughs> but, but there was a point in time where I was like the guy, like, what the, like, I like recruited my little brother and I'd be like, what the fuck, Joe? And they're like, Mike, he's your little brother. You should be nice to him. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Oh, that sounds really familiar. <laughs> he's about as he's about as little as his DPS. Get him the fuck off my team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, yeah, I was an asshole gamer for a while. Uh, I mean, mm. I still am sometimes, but like, I have those nights where I'm like, ah. Oh. Uh, but no, I had a roommate for a while, and he was I was a I, I mean playing WoW and uh, and playing Horde. I was a Blood Elf prop pally. He was a Blood Elf holy pally. 
So I was yeah. tank, he was healer. And uh, man, yeah, that first raid that he let me die, I'm like, you are sleeping fucking downstairs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not even going to allow you in your own room. Go sleep in the basement. You let me die on the raid. <laughs> And this was like yeah. Wrath of the Lich King time. This was like circa like 08. So it's like we're storming Ice Crown Citadel and I'm like getting my ass kicked and I'm like, fuck. Get back in your <laughs> hole, you failure. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not to mention Diablo on the last hardcore season that we played with our resident artist. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. I'm like, I can't be mean. He he does work for our shows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but fucking yeah. stop yeah. dying. <laughs> so, we, you know, speaking, so you said gaming, right? So do you do gaming on your streams as well or is that purely for music i, I don't I, I did there was a there was a point in time when i was doing a sunday stream where we were where, where me and some friends were playing or we were me and whom whomever wanted to join in were playing guild wars 2 nice because it was it, because it was kind of it was free to, like you could it was free to play you could like you, i think i think at this point in time you could even actually even level your character all the way up to level 80 you know, there were just certain things like free. You know, so I was like, all right, well, this is, and that's a, and that's a game I've been playing Guild Wars since two thousand seven. Um, so, uh, so you were playing so like yes, OG we, Guild Wars, like yeah, back yeah, when yeah, it was yeah. like purely PvP based. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that, in fact, in fact, that that was that was my that was uh, that was my original draw to the game. I mean, I mean, there was PVE stuff, but it was literally the worst of the absolute worst. You oh know? yeah, no, it was it was a joke. The game was for PvP because it, it, they did. Guild Wars did what WoW didn't do or, or any other MMOs at the time didn't do was it was everything was normalized. So when you PvP, it was purely based off skill. It wasn't based, yeah. based off eye level. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, in fact, that was that was the great that was the thing I loved about it was that it was it, it was Guild Wars One was was awesome in that regard because it was infinitely configurable. So you could like you could be a warrior and then just load yourself up with entirely elementalist skills you know i mean you'd be pretty terrible but if you wanted to you could do that you know and it was it was right. like it was infinitely configurable so so you could come up with these really bizarre team builds and then just go trounce people because no one's even no one's <laughs> even comprehend can't, can't even comprehend what you're doing how do we it adapt so to this should i do the gesture yeah i drove on again oh. no it's okay i'm gonna uh that works. He, he, I, I'll just pretend to jerk off and he'll, he'll leave yeah. and come back. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't know if it's because the, the video is all pixelated too. I don't know if it's Hangouts or what. Some, you know, I take Hangouts over Skype 99% of the time. Yeah. But, um, yeah. but yeah, man. Yeah, I, I've, I've always, I, I've always had trouble with, um, with Hangouts for some reason. And, and, and part of me, I really, I really do. The thing is, is that like, is like, the, like my sound setup, which, like, I, because I, it's a pretty advanced sound setup because I because I record on Pro Tools and I do a lot of like I do all my studio stuff here on this computer. Right. This is like, it's a little laptop, you know, running Windows 10. None of my stuff is Windows 10 supported. So <laughs> so it's kind of like so I, you know so I'm constantly flying by the seat of my pants and just coming up with patches and and, and like fly, you know like seat of the pants solutions. Right. You know, every time you know so yeah so so I always figure it's it's probably on my end if I start getting if you start getting weird audio from me yeah no it's it's definitely it was a latency thing and I don't I mean it could I mean the video seems a lot clearer now too so I don't know maybe there was just a local con congestion with the net because even the stream was really bad when we first started off but and, and as far as that no I mean I I get you as far as the same boat like I don't play an instrument but this particular setup here it's the live stream gaming and the podcasting. So yeah, like yeah. I have the rig under the table, but then there's like the mixer and then like the Hiles are here, but then like the live stream gaming mic is here and like it's everything is just condensed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stream deck, multiple headphones. Yeah. It's it, you don't have room. Camera, to camera, camera, camera. Now, I don't have the issue with the uh, like the Windows 10 compatible because I, I run a, I run all analog. Do you use the USB mixer? I do no, I, well, yeah, I, I, no. Actually, I've got a, I've got a twelve channel Mackie. Like, I, like, I've got like, I mean, it's, it's all, it's all like designed for small studio stuff. But, but it's all, it's all like pretty much like top of the line gear. So nice. the thing is like, so I've got like decent studio monitors. I've got a decent mixing board. I've got a like, like all. So basically, really, the, the only, the only place that I run across any issue is just my computer to sound system interface. It's an M box. It's, it was made by Avid. Avid supported it about six years ago, five years ago, <laughs> four years ago, and then they're like, you know, fuck it, and and really truthfully, fuck it on 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 a Windows system, and so I've just right. been like, please, you know, 
I'm going to, I'm going to have to go buy, I'm going to have to go buy a new one at some point, at some point in time. I just haven't yet. There's so much conflict between there really quick in the chat. JF. Yeah. I think they, a while back, the drums. Yeah. you saw, they were Xavier's drums. Yeah. There was uh, a guitar too, but those are from dreams long yeah, gone. Yeah. Those are, those are long gone dreams. Yeah. I have like, <laughs> I have like a really nice, like at the time, like $600 acoustic. My grandmother had bought me cause she wanted me to learn how to play. And then that failed miserably. Uh, Why is that? Cause I, I, I well, mean, because it's, we're it's, lazy it's and we don't practice. It's patience. Uh, uh, well, it's, yeah. it's uh, you free, know what? You want, I, I, it's free I, time. Do you still have it? Yeah, I, I've got an electric and a Yamaha. I could, I could, I, I could, I promise you, I could show you how to, like, like, do you, do you spend any time of any portion of your week watching shows? Yeah, when I go to sleep at night. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, all right. All right. So, right, so and that's so you only watch shows when you're sleeping. I, yeah, because otherwise I'm gaming or with the kids. Oh, okay. So. Hmm. So I guess I, maybe maybe with the kids. The thing is, whenever whenever you're doing whenever you're doing stuff that requires your your eyeball attention but not your hands attention, yeah, that's when you that's when you pick up the guitar and you don't focus on learning. That's what you don't focus on playing anything. All you do is you just learn one chord. You learn one chord and you just learn to like take your hand off and just like so you learn the C chord. Take you, you play it, like you learn you put it on you take it off you do that. Once you've got that chord down where you can just be like ring you can just ring it out. Then do another chord and switch between them. But just but just do it while you're watching a show or while you're watching the kids or while you're talking. I just don't even think about it. Just just this is what I do. Like uh, you will find if you you'll find if you do that you'll be able to get all the basic open chords. And once you know once you have all the basic open chords, like 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 you're now you're now literally on on the road to playing any song you could possibly want. See now I want to do it again. Well, yeah, yeah. I spent it's, years doing I mean, that, man. My guitar teacher it, told me the same thing. Do your scales and do your chords while you watch TV. Don't think about it. Don't focus on it. That yeah, me, and don't even worry me. about scales. Don't even start with scales. Like, the thing is, is just, just, learn, just learn the open chord. Like, like find the easiest. Yeah. Find something that goes, I can do that. The thing is, that you, like, because you can take, you can, I mean, you can, you can even just take two chords that have no relationship to each other that just are really easy to play. And you can, you can just by switching between the two of them, you'll find if if you do it right i could walk you through the process you'll find <laughs> that you'll start you'll start like writing songs you'll start coming up with melody you'll start <laughs> learning to play and sing at the same time it's super easy it's it's it is it's ridiculously easy you just need to find times when you're like right i, I need my eyeballs but not my hands you know and you're and then you're right. all set maybe i could turn it into like a couple times a week twitch thing <laughs> yeah oh yeah i mean yeah things i mean oh yeah or, or i mean really truthfully or yeah if you're gonna if you're gonna Tune into like a you know tune into a you know to a, I mean even if you if you're if you're watching a podcast live that's a great time if you're listening to a podcast live that's a great time um, uh, yeah and it's, yeah while you're driving <laughs> that's, that's a great time. <laughs> yeah a time. I mean you know let's just take the hands off the wheel <laughs> fuck texting and driving let's play the guitar and drive. Get a whole fucking band in there. Actually, there's um no, it's funny. Uh, uh, I mean, you're friends with Jerry, right? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So uh, the intro for I'm, I'm hearing a slight echo. Me? It's coming through Hangouts. Okay. That's weird. Is that? Probably. There we go. Um. So yeah. So no. Uh. Yeah, because Possum Posse, his intro music for the Jury Show. Oh yes, uh, yes. That all right by mine. The music video for that, them playing it in an old like VW bus yeah. while they're driving around. So, no, let's just yeah. play play the music in the car. <laughs> Why the fuck not? Yeah, uh, that's, yeah, it's really funny. Back in the, back in the day, I I, I I I so wanted to make go karts. I so wanted to make uh like take our amplifiers and make them little little pedal uh. A pedal, pedal, a pedal controlled go kart. So we'd be sitting on our amps with little, like you know, they'd have, they'd have like a little generator. There was also the, the engine, you know, and you plug in, and then we would just drive them down the street, and that would be our video. <laughs> is us just riding our, our 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 amplifiers down, you know? That's, That's absolutely awesome. ridiculous. So we'll make that. We'll, we'll it's it's doing it again. We'll make that the signal. If I kill my video to you, oh. just leave and come back oh. real quick. We'll make okay, that yeah, the okay, signal. Yeah. All right. Stupid shit. At least he's really quick about doing it. There you go. Uh, cool. Is that it? No, no, yeah, you're, you're good. Now the camera's just being dumb. We'll figure something okay. out. I'll wave to you. <laughs> we'll make it something. I feel weird doing the jerk off motion on Twitch. <laughs> People get kicked off Twitch for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not, it's not a jerk off motion. It's, it's you're, 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 You've got crap dice. You've got, you've got, <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Give, uh, 
Come on. Uh, yeah, because I'm sure gambling on Twitch will get you kicked off Twitch, yeah. too. <laughs> oh, in this day and age, for sure. What's worse? Check it off for gambling. Um, but yeah, so you had mentioned, I was listening to, it was this was probably a little over a month ago, maybe a couple months ago now, you were on an episode of Current Geek. And you yes. were talking about you had done something musically where like you did you do, you had done something like all on one stream or you had done something like in a certain amount of time, something with writing songs or doing something like you had oh, achieved well, something. Right, so, yeah. so, all right. So, well, then, uh, there, uh, yeah. So, so yeah, there's, I, the, I, I do a lot of that kind of stuff, but the thing is like, so I had, I had, so I, th- I, I think the thing, I, cause I, the things are, there were two things I was talking about on current geek. One was, one was that I was doing a 101 song album um, that was basically me playing exactly the way the way that people hear my songs on on Twitch. I was I was taking 101, 101 of my songs, the most popular, the most frequently requested songs, and I was tr- and I was recording that and turning that into a, into an album. So I was going to release a because because I because my internet distributor. I'm certain that they were not expecting anybody to release a hundred and one songs that were actually three and a half minute songs, but, but that's the limit of the number of songs they're willing to release as an album. And I'm like, okay, great. I will give you a hundred. So it's going to be, it's going to literally going to be a hundred and one times three and a half minutes, you know, like whatever, <laughs> however many hours that ends up being, it's going to be, I think it's gonna be like a five and a half hour long record. You know? That's ridiculous. Uh, so that's what I so, and then and then I and then I had also just recorded a 45 song record which is actually my la, my last release. I just decided mas- mostly because of economics. Like the thing is is that like I I generate so many songs in a given year and a lot of them are great but but I, and I was like I would pick the absolute best songs uh and then I'd make a record out of those and then I had a bunch of other songs I wasn't doing anything with. So I decided that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to instead just put them all on a record and I'll put out a 40 song record every year, you know, just, you know, and then, and then that way, hopefully I shame, I shame all other people that call themselves songwriters. You know, that's my goal anyway. (laughs) So where do you, where do you find your inspiration? Like, I mean, obviously in, in the between podcast and in the pre-show there, we, we talked, we heard about the, uh, the, what was it? Paleo. Cause that part of the chat is called paleo file. Oh yeah. Paleophile, yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is like a, an erotic dinosaur song. Well, so what? How? Yeah, so so I, I occasionally co-write songs with my chat, and and so um, and and by and by co-write, what what we do? So this, the way that happens is, is I go, okay, guys, what do we want? What do we want to write a song about? And and someone suggests, and we all suggest ideas, and we all go, oh, that's a great idea. Let's let's write a song about that. So so I said, hey guys, what do we want to write a song about? And some one of the person in our chat, this Rose one eighty two, was her was was her name. And Rose was like, "Can we do write a song about dino sex? Can it be about dino sex? Can it please be about dino sex? I'd love for it to be about dino sex." And 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 like repeatedly over and over again. And we're like, "Okay, wait. Do you mean like humans having sex with dinosaurs? Dinosaurs <laughs> having sex with dinosaurs? Like what? What's this about dino sex?" And she's like, "Yes, I don't care. Just I wanted to be about dino sex. <laughs> all of it. Oh, <laughs> just give me it all." So, uh, so we were like, all right, let's see what, let's see if we can make this happen. And, uh, over the course of two days, there, there were about 80, maybe 80 to a hundred people that contributed to that song. Uh, and, and so every single lyric, uh, was, was contributed by the chat. All I did was I made sure that we, we kind of stayed on point from a narrative perspective. So what I started so I, what I started with was like, all right, first we have to, we have to like set up the idea of someone that wants to have sex with dinosaurs. So how do we do that? How do we introduce that idea? You know? And so people were throwing out lines. I'm like, yeah, that's a good line. And, we, and then, and then, and then once we, and then once we're up and running, you know, yeah. And so it's a, it's a ridiculous. <laughs> Please tell me Fred is, Flintstone came up at some point. <laughs> no, well, yeah, no, yeah, it, it, well, it's, it's funny. So, so uh, no, it, it, it is the filthiest song. It so where, where can this song be heard? Uh, is it on re- my, well? You can you can find it on my. The thing is, is that there are there are places where people where, like most basically my, my mods my mods have links where you can download it. Okay. I, uh, I I I uploaded it uh, and then I, I I lost the link and but they they've maintained the link so okay. I don't, I don't, now yeah. is this one of the ones that you can just pick up a guitar and play it or do yeah, you, you yeah. have it completely memorized? No no no. Well, I mean I mean I I can I can approximate it. I can approximate it well enough to be like, hey, here's, here's kind of what it sounds like. Um, and, then, and then I'm getting pretty close to having it memorized. Very cool. 
So let's pause that for a second. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, that works. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I want to hear it because it sounds dirty and okay. it is, good. It's filthy. I, I will, I will play. You know what? Here, let's, Can, let's well, see what I was wondering is because that, is that an acoustic behind you? Like, could you it play is, a yes. little bit of it? Yeah, he was alluding to on you the. Uh, yeah. Could Could you play a little bit of it right here? So, because so that's again, exciting. Again, like I just, I just want to say that that every single lyric was 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 written by somebody in the chat. All I did. All like, 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 so I was the idea guy. I was like, okay, first, so like, you'll, you'll notice that when it starts, I'm like, like, okay, how does, how do we introduce this idea that somebody wants to have sex with dinosaurs? And then where do we take it from there? And so I was the, I was sort of like the, the, I was like the conductor, but all of the lyrics, every single lyric was, 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 was generated by my chat. So I'm really hoping uh, Hangouts does not act up during this. So we'll see. But here we go. Mike TV with Paleophile. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and, yeah, and it's in it's in six eight time. It's in six eight time because Trey Warren, Super Trey Wonder, who uh, does the I don't know if you listen to Jury's uh, wrestling podcast, but yeah. he's the guy that does the melodica. The oh, melodica okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Super Trey Wonder, who guests on my streams on Tuesday nights. Uh, uh, he so so Trey was like, well, I think I think dinosaurs would fuck in six eight time, and I'm like, there you go, all right. So. <laughs> when I was a wee one, I had my first crush. Those tiny fossil arms made me blush. That neck, that horn, that tush, that never ending smile. That's when I knew I was a paleophile. It may be a sin, but that toothy grin drives me wild. I'm not into boys or girls, I just want dinosaurs. I want my dino whore. Omnivore, carnivore, herbivore. I'll fuck them all till I'm dino sore. Archaeopteryx extend those sexy wings. It makes me think the naughtiest things. Brontosaurus with your neck so very long. I could stroke it all night long. Velociraptor, give me some more, you big dickasaur. I'll fuck them all till I'm dinosaur. Megalosaur, give me your ultra mega low dong. Seismosaurus, you shake me, you're breaking my heart, heart on. I want to go back, back to the past, for that sweet dino ass. Wine back the clock, tickety-tock, for that fat dino cock. Please take me home, I'm all alone, stuck in a world without dinosaurs. The dinosaurs, and then yeah, that's so that's that's the, all the way up to the first chorus. <laughs> if you knew Nate a little bit better, you would have some idea of how happy you just made it. That if you just knew a brilliant. little bit about his background, <laughs> I, I've known Nate for twenty years, I love and it. that kind of music I, is I love just it. indicative I, of who he is. That that needs to be the new intro music for all geeked up. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is excellent. Um, so I, I am a fan of. Pointless vulgarity. Yeah. Uh, yeah okay. oh, thank you for that, there, by the way. <laughs> What's that? For playing that for us. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, that pleasure. was amazing. Um, but no, I am a fan of pointless vulgarity. Uh, there's, um, who's that actor that was on the league that was a comedian as well? John Lejeau? 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 He's Canadian. Taco? Yeah. Anyway, um, so before he became a big internet comedian and then a, a, a TV actor, uh, he did little shorts and one of them was pointless profanity where he would like be out in the wilderness and then just swear blindly, yeah. um, like in, in polite conversation. Uh, yeah. and anyone that knows me personally knows that when you get into my vehicle for the first time, it is a ritual that I play you Tim Minchin's. Oh, I love that. Ten, ten foot cock and a few hundred virgins. 
Yes, yeah. It is it is a requirement. But for, before that it was Stephen Lynch and Superhero. Yeah, Stephen Lynch and Superhero and yeah, so and the Richard musical cheese and everything like that. So the musical comedy that uh that that is vulgar and funny. Like I love it. I, I I've always loved it. Uh so no, that that touched a place in my heart and I am gonna listen to it enough to where I can sing along to it at work and confuse the hell out of people. <laughs> yeah, it, it gets it gets it gets more and more rival like as the song as oh hold on real quick. This has never happened before. I know. As, I don't know as oh sorry. Oh no, no we we're just saying it's never ha- is there by chance something downloading on your end? Did you have something no, that opened up? No, and, and even even if there was, I've I've got Google Fiber. Uh, like like my download upload speeds are literally like nine hundred gig. Oh I mean, yes, nine hundred so megabytes per second. Like maybe it's it, just maybe it's just hangout hates us. Ridiculous. Yeah, maybe it's just the hangouts hates us. Um, no, I, I really I really do. I think I think it is my interface. Like like, like I, uh, this is the uh, there's something about like. I I haven't I have yet to really dig into it. Oh, so you say so it's not a latency thing, but just something where something's not connecting right and resetting the call fixes it. That that's exactly correct. I yeah, see. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, and so and so I think and and it is and I really do. I think it's there's there's because because I run across occasionally when I do other internet audio stuff, I've run across this. Um, there's just it's it's something it's something with with the Google you know, with the Google code as opposed, like, as, as it translates to the way my shitty inbox, you know, mm. like Avid, right. Avid supported, it's like four years distant, you know, that, that they did any support for it, you know? So there's just some, there's some, there's some serious hiccup and, and I, I just need to replace it, but I, you know, I will. I'm a, bro- I'm a broke ass musician, man. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. The, uh, the hand signal seems to work. So yeah, I, I mean, it just, it's going to be a hangouts thing. Um, but yeah. hey, you know what? It is what it is. But yeah, yeah, no. As he said, thank you very much for playing that. That was, yeah, no, man. I loved it, man. I I, I love you. You're awesome. <laughs> I love that hey, song. Yeah. I love I love your audience. I love your crowd. I mean, um, it, you know, it, it is it is funny. I mean, the thing is, is, is like, yeah. I mean, we've got we've we've written uh, we've written seven songs now, and and uh, and and all of them. Ex- well, there's there's two there's two one one we wrote. I have a little I have a little five year old. Or she's now six, but a little a little uh, cousin that was diagnosed with stage four neuroblastoma, and so that was a pretty terrible and awful thing, and she's still fighting it. And, and so I personally wrote a song for her. For like, I asked her family, which like I didn't have any money to contribute. I was like, can I write her a song? And then and then at some point in time, I ch- at, when I was like, hey guys, let's all write a song together. What do you want to write a song about? And they're like, let's write Riley a song. So we wrote one kid song for her. Which is a really, really great song, and then, and then I, and then I, we wrote one other song that was straight ahead, and then the other five are like literally, like they, they, there, there are certain states that if I play them, <laughs> I will never be allowed back. You know, nice. Uh, so, yeah. so you mentioned that. My next question, leading in before that, was going to be, how much of your stuff kind of skirts that line of like extremely vulgar? How much of your stuff is fun and family friendly? Like, I, because I assume it's a, it's a nice broad <laughs> mix of everything. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I definitely, I definitely, I definitely have one foot firmly planted in in the in the blue category. You know, right. the thing is, like, I, like I work blue, I work blue seventy percent of the time. You know? Okay. Um, uh, if not lyrically, like I've got a song called "Fuck You" and then in parentheses, I want to, and 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 we were <laughs> and we were about to play, we were gonna play a show uh, like these. So this this. Organization asked Get Set Go to play. They're like, we really love your music. Okay, great. We show up and they're like, like, hey guys, we really love your music, but we just want to make sure there's no swears. <laughs> and 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 I'm like, I'm like, you know the band, right? And they're like, yeah, we know we love your we love your stuff. And I realized that oh no, they they just happen to know that we were on Grey's Anatomy and they really like our Grey's Anatomy stuff. So we played we played Fuck You I Want, but we changed it to Smurf You. And every lyric we just changed the word to Smurf. And it is, it is so much more raunchy and so much more <laughs> like, oh my God, except for the fact that it's just Smurf. It's like, you know, right. so, yeah. Well, uh, what was it? Pat Oswald way back, like way before his wife passed away, he had a little bit that he talked about where like, if you take like, you know, cock, pussy and fuck or whatever, and like you replace them with like dingleberry and hoo-ha, like it makes it so much worse. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, uh, or like, I remember like my connection to that is, uh, the Bloodhound Gang song, "The Roof Is on Fire," 
And when you mm-hmm. heard that song on the radio way back in the, the late nineties, it was like, they had the sound effects, like the car horn and like stuff. It went instead of in place of the swears. And the song was so much more fun. Like having those taken out and hearing fuck, like it totally killed the song. Yeah. Like having yeah. the sound effects made the song. Yeah. Fire, water, burn. Um, there you go. Fire, water, burn. It wasn't actually called <laughs> the roof is on fire. Thank you. <laughs> I, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I hate hangouts. Um, but yeah. Oh, so am I digital again? Yeah, you're digital again. Fucking robots. Robots everywhere. It's JS fault. I think I'm just going to, I think like every 15 seconds, I'm just going to, I'm going to like the moment you're speaking, I'm just going to be like, I'm like, what was and you'll come back and be like, what did you say? Yeah. yeah. No, uh, no, man, it, it, it's great. The music is awesome. I picked up a nineties vibe when I was listening, uh, kind I mean, of a little bit like, I mean, is that kind of your era? Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, I was, I, I, I graduated high school in 1991. You know, uh, my entire like the the things that informed my music was entirely, you know, is entirely you know, like pavement, the arches of loaf, uh, like uh, entirely 90s bands. Um, so I, de- I definitely do come, I definitely do come from from the you know the the Kurt Cobain, uh, 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 what's his drummer's name, Dave Dave Grohl school of of kind of like punk rock and then and then i i have as the years have gone by i've kind of like diversified my sound but that's still kind of like that's still my go-to like that's that's the one that's the one sound that, that i own inside and out i can like i can always write a, a fun catchy silly but at the same time you know like not quarterly complex it's just you know chugga 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 here you go here's here's the song here's the chorus I figured you'd take it because that seemed up your alley. As oh, no, as, like, I the... didn't want to say anything. Go ahead. Why? Because <laughs> <laughs> that, the, that Kurt, the, the Nirvana and stuff, that was kind of your high school thing, wasn't it? Was it? Weren't you into Nirvana? Yeah, I like Nirvana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you're quiet. I, I, I'm hanging you up to dry, bro. <laughs> it's, it's funny because I was, I was back in 80, back in 89. You know, uh, like I was turned on to Bleach, and I liked Bleach, but it was uh, like, it, like I was a big Mudhoney fan. But when I, but when when Nevermind came out, I got it. I got it on day two. My my buddies got it on day one, and they're like, "Mike, you got to listen to the new Nirvana record." And I'm like, "All right, I'll go buy it." Like, because I was, you know, I was I was a real hard like I was, I was a hardcore Mudhoney fan. I felt that I thought Nirvana was getting more attention than 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 Mudhoney, and that was making me upset. And I so I bought Nevermind. And, and and usually the way I listen to records at this point in time is I'd put it on the I put it on the on the on you know in in the in the CD player or on the LP and then I'd go and I'd sit down on the on the couch and I wouldn't do anything I just listen to a record like that's the way I would the way they're supposed to be it, listened to front to that? back the way it's supposed to be front to back yeah right? yeah 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 yeah, that's, yeah that's exactly right you know like yeah I'm gonna give the these guys the respect they you know like, so I didn't even make it to, I didn't even make it to the to the to the to the couch. I put it in and the dun 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 dun, dun and I just sat there and the jung and I was just like, oh my fucking god. I listened to the entire I just stood right next to the stereo with my literally the, like my ears, like the speakers were right by my ear. Like it fucking that that there's there's only two records that have done that to me. And and that and that was yeah, and that one that one was was the first. Yeah, that's really a coming of age record. I think it's a rite of passage for everybody now. But having been there when it actually was released, that's going to be yeah. an amazing thing. Yeah, I mean, no, yeah. In fact, in fact, man, like I, I caught, so I caught Nirvana at the Palace twice wow. and Iguana. So in that tour, the, and the, the Iguana show is a legendary show. It was the most mind blowingly crazy and frightening and epic and awesome show I've ever seen in my entire life. There were people at Iguanas, it was a two story place. There were people jumping off the second floor into the crowd on the first floor. They would hit somebody or multiple people. Everybody would go down and the crowd would just close over them and they were never to be seen again. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? What is going on? Like we were watching people drop. And we're like, are they coming up? No, they're just, they just <laughs> they're got gone. by the crowd. Crazy, well, crazy shit. That was an epic. That yeah, that was a mind blowing. Like that's that's that was the most rock and roll fucking shit. Like like that was the thing that I was when when Get Set Go was first starting off. We were a punk rock band, and we were like you know diving into drums and smashing guitars and crazy. And and all I was trying to do was trying to recapture 
that the electricity of that Nirvana show, the Ed Iguanas. That was that was mind blowingly awesome. Now, so where do you stand on music today? Mainstream music today? Um, I mean, I mean, I, I'm I. I don't have a lot of time for music. The thing because because I'm making music all the time, you know. So the thing is is that so so I do. Um, I have friends that that make music that I that I absolutely love. Um, and so and so when I have some time to actually pay attention to new music, I'm often paying attention to their music. Um, I still do every now and again, occasionally dive into um, when I'm when I like like uh, if I hear if. I'm out and I hear songs and I'm like, hey, this is a great song. I will go and look it up and I'll figure and, and I'll look at the band that that and, and I'll I'll dig a little bit into their catalog. But for the most part, the thing is, is that like, I mean, I'm kind of like for the past 10 years, I've basically been my own influence, you know, like, like, like I I'm I kind of like I don't I don't need to ape other people. I don't need to like I, I hear I'll hear sounds, I'll hear oh, at least it works. Mm. Um, I'll hear, you know, like, like I'll hear, I'll, he, you know, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll hear, like, you know, oh, that's a, that's a really interesting. It sounds like a, they took a violin and they add, they made, they distorted it and compressed the crap out of it, and then they added, and then they added, you know, some flange to it. And I'll listen to that and I'll be like, oh, maybe I'll try that and see, how, see if that works for me, you know. That, but the thing is, is that like, but, but yeah, for the most part, like, um. You know, for me, yeah, the thing is, is like, is like, I'm, I'm, I really am trying to, like, I, I, I've got, yeah. So, so in, in, in regards to like music of today, so I do pay attention, I, but I, I don't get, I don't have, I can't dig in real deep. And there's so much music out there. There's so much music. It's mind blowing how much, how much you music. You mentioned there is. and, and, and really truthfully, a lot of it, a lot of it is, is decent songwriting. But for my money, it's. Uh, it's not. I wouldn't say amateur. It's young songwriting. You know, yep. the thing is, for me, for me, I like I like courses that elevate. If you're gonna have, if you're if you're gonna have a a, a verse that's dun dun dun, then you gotta have the, the courses dun dun. Like it's gotta. And and lots of people don't write courses that elevate. You know, lot. And so for me, I'm like, that's, you know, it's not a song for me. You know, like like if you're gonna have a bridge, you know, take the song a different direction or or ele or or if you if the chorus elevates and you're gonna have a bridge. Have the bridge elevate even above the chorus, and then and then modulate the chorus after the bridge, so it's even more triumphant. You know, like like just keep going for it, man. I so don't find there, that newer music. What's that? I'm sorry. I don't find that newer music really takes me on any kind of a journey, and I don't feel much. But you had mentioned Spotify earlier, and that has really opened the world for me. There's a lot of music on there to be found that I never would have heard before. I don't listen yeah. to the radio at all. Yeah. And I grew up on grunge and then I don't know, matured into like heavy metal and then like hard drugs, I had to get off of that and I went into folk music. So now it's just an amalgam of all of that that I listen to. That's dude that, that's that that you know what it, that's very funny. I I too The thing is for me for me I I really love I really love honest music. I like I like I like music. I like music made by outcasts. Writing about writing about writing about the, their their perspective on living on the fringes of like like I, like hey if you're if you're some if you're somebody that that has is selling twenty million units there's nothing you have to say that I have any interest in whatsoever you know and so and so the thing is is that like so so for me it's like it's like I love folk I love bluegrass I love I love punk rock I, I'm not I don't I, I love. I don't love punk rock. The sound, the sound of punk rock for me is is, is kind of like just kind of played out. Right. But I love I love the punk ethos, and I love people that make music that's like fuck you. Here's a big middle finger, and here's my song. You know. Right. Um. Particularly, particularly if they, if particularly if it's like here's a big middle finger, here's a hug, and here's my song. You know. Right. So it's like I, like that's you know. Yeah. And, I totally and, agree. And, and and so I do seek that kind of music out, and there is a lot, and the, and the great thing is, is that like. You know, it's it's the great thing about this day and age is like anybody with a laptop can fucking record a fucking beautiful sounding record. And so there's so much music, it literally fucking makes my eyeballs hurt, you know. Like, you know, uh yeah. Blows my mind. There Blows is my mind. kind of that explosion of technology where because it's with music and again the same with podcasting, like any schmuck can get a mic and an internet connection. Hey guys. And have a live show. <clears throat> uh so it's 
<clears throat> it it kind of does put a lot of stuff out there to pick from, but so it may it maybe makes it a little bit harder to find the diamond in the rough. But then when you find someone like you know some like you know back to just specifically music, like if somebody runs, comes across like a musician like yourself, like even just from what I have heard, like you stand out from other people that I've seen trying to strum a guitar on YouTube. You know what I mean? Because there's originality, there's passion, there's fun. That like you care you care about your lyrics and even if it's not the specific word for word, like, you know, that song that you sang for us, you care about your audience and the people that allow you to do what you do. And it, it brings all that together. And I think, well, the fact that he was concerned about a song about dino fucking making sense right. from a story perspective, right? Like, he's yeah, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, no, I mean, I mean, it's, it's crazy. So, so the marching orders for that song were, uh, we had to make sure it was gender neutral, so either a guy or a girl could sing it, because we wanted to make sure that every, like, and we needed we needed to make sure that the, di- the the dinosaurs were actually dinosaurs, so no pterodactyls, no, you know, and so the things, so all of, so it, and literally, and we had we had like we had somebody fact checking the dinosaurs, Lenina, and and we had someone, you know, and we and we and we were like, so people would throw like, yeah, and suck my dick, and I'm like, no, you can't, we can't have suck my dick because a girl can't sing that you know like we need to make sure it's gender neutral so everybody can sing this song you know? it's uh no and again yeah i mean i i love that song man i i can't stop <laughs> like, i love it i want the, somebody if, if somebody in the chat room that is a, a, a mike tv regular that has that link i can I, in fact, I i can i can get it for you i just i just don't have it on hand but i i can definitely get it to it oh okay second. half second pause there we go. I can uh, I can definitely get it for you, and I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll email it to you yeah, by tomorrow. Yeah, because I would love it. Because that's great. I want that on rotation. Uh, but <laughs> but no, and like so, I I'm a mainstream guy. Like when it comes to my music, like it, it's de- like my country is mainstream. Uh, my rock and metal are mainstream. Like it's you know Godsmack, Disturbed, Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, yeah. My country music it's Jason Aldean, um, and the likes Luke Bryan, things like that. It's basically like whether it's the local country station or the local alternative rock station, like it's the top 40 shuffle. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, I'm yeah. over here with John Prine and Ray right. Wiley Hubbard. He is a big influence of throwing. Like I made a Spotify playlist for my Twitch streaming. Cause I have like song requests up on my bot and stuff like that. So it's yeah. like, you know, people can request a song and I gave him access to it. And I'm just like, just throw shit in there. Like, like unpop this up a little bit. And a lot of my music influence comes from being friends <laughs> with him. Cause like John Prine, like he mentioned, uh, you know, I listened to you because he introduced me to him. Um, the Dead Milkmen from way, way back in the day. Yeah, I love the Dead Milkmen. Uh, I was introduced to them by him. So you know what, Stuart? <laughs> I like you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. That, you know, and, and, and well, and it's, and it's funny. The thing is, just like if if you make music, no matter no matter what no matter what level of music you make, you're my people, right? The thing is, is that musicians. Even 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 fucking Justin Bieber and Taylor Swift, they're still getting they're still getting fucking screwed over. The thing is, is that every musician that every person that actually creates the art is getting a rough deal, no matter where no matter where on the spectrum they uh, they operate. The thing is, it could because the entire music industry has been exploiting musicians literally for a hundred years, and so and so just to get even a even a, a nominally fair deal isn't a possibility, you know? So, so you, every musician's on their back foot. So, so for my money, like if you make music, you're my people, you know, it just, it's just, it just also, but for my money that am I going to, I've, I've got a limited amount of time on this planet. Most of my life, I, I, cause I, I work a 70 hour work week. I was, I was doing closer to 80 hour work week, making music and playing and like doing the, so, so I didn't have a, I have no, real extra time for listening to people's music the thing is like when i'm done when i'm doing my week i don't want to listen to any music you know <laughs> any music at all i just want my ears to clear out so the thing is so I, I have a very so so do i want to so when i do have some time to listen to music when i do have, when I have, have time to appreciate music who like i have to i really have to consider well what kind of music do i want to what do i want to listen to and so the thing is so often often i'm looking for people that are speaking truths that res- resonate with me, you know? And so, um, and, and I do, and I do like all musicians harbor a, a pretty, a, a pretty significant resentment and jealousy 
uh, when everybody and when anybody does significantly better than I do. Like like that. <laughs> it's it's and, and and if you are a musician and you say you don't feel that way, then you are a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say that goes for creating anything. I mean, you feel yeah, yeah. it. Oh yeah. No matter yeah, what yeah. you create and put out there, like you you envy those that do better. I mean, and I mean that's anything. Like you see that. I mean, I was just having a conversation similar to that recently because, you know, being in Maine, like, you know, we're New England fans and our Patriots are going to the Super Bowl again. And yeah. like everybody hates the Patriots because they're on top. And you see that with everything. Like it, it's either envious or jealousy or or whatever the case may be. When, when people are up there, it's hard. Uh, you know, you see it with the Patriots. Like you see it with Apple in tech. You see it with Blizzard and like World of Warcraft and stuff and gaming. Like it's yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, again, the, and and you're you're totally right. But for my money, though, it, there it's there. There's a weird subjectivity to music, right? So the thing is, like, there are lots of songs that are, that that for the most part, pound for pound, they're okay songs. They're not great songs. They're not amazing songs. But because they just got a fuck ton of rotation. Because some corporate shill, right? And, you know, like they spent a fucking absolute fortune. Like that song got a fuck ton of rotation, and now it's and now it's like and that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff hurts. But it, but right. that kind of stuff is also endemic of the music industry, right? The thing is, is that like it, it's not about artistry. It's all of, it's all about sales, and it's all right. about right. It's about the marketability of songs. And what really irritates me about that is that that's what the masses hear, and they're cultured to listen to that shit. A lot yeah. of it is yeah. shit. Yep. Just shit. Yep. I'm guilty of Now, that. if you can take... I don't understand why people can't just think for themselves. Like, if you hear a clever song, that the shit on the radio doesn't make me feel anything, and they all have the same beat. They do. It's all the same. Well, in fact, I mean, I mean, if you, you've 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 seen that breakdown of, of the country yeah. songs, and yeah, where they're all the same chord they're progression, all the same fucking okay. song. Now like here's yeah. songs, now see here, the exact same. Song. Here's the thing: I love every song in that breakdown. <laughs> no, 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 and that's but and that's but no, and that's and that's exactly what I'm saying. So the, so the thing is, so the thing is, so so that's exactly right. So they figured out they figured out how to deliver you the best Big Mac, right? And it's right, and it's, it's exactly. a fucking, it's a delicious Big Mac that you love. And every single time you go for that Big Mac, you get that Big Mac. Right? No. Exactly. So see, it, it's not, it's not the greatest burger. It's not the best burger, but damn it, every time you order it, it's the same fucking burger and you yeah. can depend on it. And yeah, you're going to have consistency. And there's, and there's a lot of power in that. And I totally respect it. And I totally respect that. The thing it's is, not, but at the same time, it cannot all be. Right. And the thing is, is, is in, in, in every other industry, in every other part of the planet Earth, there's there's more selection than just Big Macs. You know, like there's, right. you know, there's Coca-Cola and Pepsi. And then there's also Mountain Dew. Like every, but but for whatever reason, with 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 music and with radio and with, with accessibility, like it's the stuff that, that actually achieves public consciousness in a big way. It's basically Big Macs, you know? Yeah. And, that, and that's the thing that breaks my heart. Well, and, that's, and that's is, the thing they're that not... really frustrates me they're not good they're catchy and that's well right but anything that tastes I mean, good when not used in a sparing manner is bad for you right all of that terrible music rots your brain man <laughs> <laughs> see now i've done pretty good but yeah like i've always said like there's like you know you get it because there are bands that i loved from almost day one that became like disturbed like when they came out with the sickness they were by no means like a cookie cutter radio band like sure, at that sure. time nobody else had that sound sure uh, same with godsmack when godsmack had uh the self-titled album like and they had whatever and keep away like nobody was hitting the drums like that as far as radio play um and and the, they had a unique sound uh, you know, Slipknot with the very first album, and then they came right. out with um, with Iowa. The uh, the O one era of like drop D tuning was the last bastion of rock, and then that was it for me, man. I jumped out after that. I don't know what happened to rock but and roll. But... Everyone like you know and... they'll, they'll call them sellouts. So like that was the big thing. Like Slipknot got with Volume Three. Like once they came out with like the slower stuff, and then Corey went to Stone Sour. Like it was. It was, oh, they sold out, they sold out. But you mentioned like the music industry and the art, and that's the big, big thing there is there is, and, and people, if they don't look close enough or maybe at all, they don't see it. There is a vast difference between the art of music 
and music as a career slash the music industry. <clears throat> yeah, no, yeah. So, so, so it really comes. It really comes down to music as art and music as a commodity, right? And the thing is, is that like, so mu music, music as as art is the person and the people making the music are like, okay, this is our life experience, and we're taking this life experience and we're trying to translate it in a way in a way that where it's going to have some meaningful impact on the people listening to it, right? And the thing is, is and, then, and then music as a commodity is this is a thing that we want to sell a bunch of units. Now, sometimes those two those two different things do marry, but the thing is, but 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 often, but often, often it's the big macification of music. You know, the thing is, is that mostly they go, oh, you know what? If you throw ooh 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 and ah ah ah, and you throw in this drum beat and you do the auto tuning thing, and like this is gonna make for a great song, you know. And the thing is, and all you need is a little, and and, and it's funny, like you don't even need. All you need is a, a a a a moderately clever lyrical hook, and all right, we got a hit song. And the thing is, is like, and once they realize that that that's all it takes, I mean, you know, the thing is, is yeah, like, and so and so suddenly, and it's crazy because there are there are like, I mean, there is music that 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 offers this like vaguely vapid sort of like, hey, this is art kind of thing. It's got a little hint a little whiff of art artistry and people are like oh this is great like this is the song that owns owns my world and and that's awesome if you feel that way more power to you but for my money i'm like are you fucking kidding me the thing is like there's so much real life experience being translated into music and and this is the this is the shit that you're fucking sinking your teeth into okay <laughs> i'm so glad to know i'm not alone in my anger you yeah, really yeah, st you've right. stifled but, it a lot but, better but, than I would, but yeah. But but again, but again, again, like what I'm saying is like is like they're still my people. The thing is, is like like all musicians are my people. The thing is, is that like is like you know like sometimes sometimes that's the that's the deepest someone can go, right? The thing is that their life has been so coddled and they've had so much like like they like they've never known the kind of suffering that 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 most real people go through. So that's the deepest they can get. All right, if that's the deepest you can go, like you know, I all right, I feel for you, man. But that all right, that, that give me your song of tepid whatever. You know, like I will appreciate <laughs> that's your tepid. That's great. That, that's that's great. But well, oftentimes uh, if that's as deep as you can go. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to leave the room because I just yeah. can't. <laughs> I can't go down that path with you. Oftentimes, yeah, I, gotta, with... I gotta be a cheerleader for all music. Like you know, like like musicians, I hear you. we have a tough spot no matter. Like even Justin Bieber, you know, like is still getting fucking. He's still getting paid behind everybody else, you know. Like, like the thing is, like he's still the last guy to get paid in his organization. Everybody gets paid before he does, you know. And the thing that people seem to forget, or or maybe just don't care about, with a lot of these pop musicians is they're they're fucking talented. Like they didn't just get picked. Like at least not a lot of them. Like Bieber, Bieber sure. can play. Like he sure. was a YouTube sure. musician who could play just about anything, and. Same with Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, like when she was purely country with that first album, she was talented. She could play. She could sing. Yeah. You look at um, who is uh, who's Cyrus's daughter, Miley Cyrus. Uh, she yeah. had an album that she did that was all covers that she knocked out of the park. But when, like you said, it's the companies, and once they sign them, and once they essentially own them, they're gonna market them to whatever's gonna sell the most. So, yeah, and that, and that, and, you know, and 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 that, and again, and I, and I don't, I hate, like, oh, one second. It's the weirdest show ever. <laughs> it's the weirdest <laughs> show ever. <laughs> beady, beady, beady. Uh, you know, and I, and I, and I actually do. I, I like the thing is, is like, I, I don't, I, I appreciate the, 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 the want and desire to sell you know, albums. That's great because the thing is, because that means it gets out to more people. And, but the thing is, is like, um, it's, it's, it's kind of for me, for my money, it's kind of like a uh, part and parcel of kind of like the way most capitalism has happened. Uh, it's kind of like happened over the past 15, 20 years where it's just gone full tilt. Let's make money and less. But the thing is there's, I think there's definitely room for both, for both, well, first off, I think there's there's room for both artistry as well as commodity, and I definitely think that there's a room for a lot more. There's a lot like like you can't have fucking twenty hit albums and that's it. Like the thing is, is that like 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 right now people are being fed like Big Macs, Whoppers, you know, a, maybe a square Wendy's burger, and that's it. Like that's that's, that's don't you dare go to got, Subway you know? though. Yeah, and also don't you dare compare a Wendy's burger to McDonald's and. Like so, okay, yeah, no, so yeah. hold so hold on a second. So like, 
your 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 Big Mac is like your Bieber, your your Taylor, your Tay Tay is like your Whopper. But like the Wendy's burger, that's the one that has like that sprinkle of artistry and has yeah. my heart. <laughs> oh my god. Not only that, yeah, man. You can call all mainstream music McDonald's, Wendy's, and BK, and then your mom and pop place your Susan's fish and chips. That's your nice uh struggling artist right there. Right. That you give yeah. them a little extra more, buy that album, don't stream it on Spotify. <laughs> I didn't even buy the latest Avenged album. I am so you spoiled know- with my streaming. You know, you know what, man? You have to. So I, I did the math. So I, I make point oh oh six cents per play. That's that's on the high end. Normally, like like I also make point oh oh four cents per play. So so you have to listen to one of my. So I used to make six dollars. I used to make six dollars every time I sold a record. Yeah. You have to, you have to listen to one of a fourteen song record of mine. I've got a handful of fourteen song records. You have to listen to that entire album a hundred and seven times. For me to make that six dollars, wow, Jesus, and seven all the way through, all the way through from beginning. That's ridiculous. One hundred and seven times. Who the fuck has ever listened to any album one hundred and seven times? It's so such bullshit. Does I that probably benef- does that benefit the people with hits where their songs are getting a million plays by a million people? Oh yeah, people? oh yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. Ed Sheerhand, Ed Sheerhand is one song that has over a billion plays. He has he sold a million units just on that song. Yeah. He literally that he literally has multiple platinum album sales from just that song just that single i, I, I must not be familiar who is it? who is sheeran and what's amazing Ed, to me about that is that if you're into that kind of music there's so much better shit in that band. oh, yeah. oh my what's god his song? oh my god yeah the things yeah that, that was he was my late he was my latest like let me just do a little bit of comparison shopping right and, and i'm like I, you know and the thing is his stuff his stuff is fine it's fine <laughs> it's fine and, and again it's my people it's fine so, it's fine <laughs> everything's fine but, it's okay but 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 Jesus Christ! Like, can, can I get a chorus? Can you please just give me a fucking chorus that sounds different than the rest of the song? That'd be mm-hmm. awesome. That's all I want. Just give me a chorus. Give me something I can sing to. Nope, nope. It's kind of like the guitar solo, man. All of those things that make the songs a little bit complicated going away. See, and that's Wait, why we can't sample this. Oh, we gotta cut it. Like, can't, just can't so do it. so my band of choice is Avenged Sevenfold. It's who I swear by. I've got the A7X tattooed in the back of my neck. I've seen them live almost 20 times. Like, that is my band. Like, you say who listens to an album 107 times. I would be willing to wager I've listened to City of Evil 107 times. Uh, if okay. It, but, but again, but again, th- but think, think about that. So things like so... So that would mean that would mean that you've listened to at least once a week for three years. Every 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 week for three years. That card, that album, that CD back when we bought CDs as a culture, that didn't leave the disc player in my neon for like four months, and it was always on rotation. Oh, yeah, yeah, and so was, they, yeah, so they, yeah, and that's so the, yeah, so that so that's exactly right. So yeah, so then that one, yeah, yes, then you probably hit. I so gave that, them six so, bucks. So, you, yeah, that was six dollars. <laughs> that was six dollars in spot in the Spotify right, world. Right, yeah. right. But so, and that's I think one of the things about them that appeals compared to a lot of other model music like you said they have you know it's it's that song structure where it's the chorus i mean they have the hook right but it's the chorus they have the bridge um you know it's it's a song the way that you like a song structured they still rock the guitar solo their their players are very talented their musicians are, are very talented so they have the traditional sound while making it modern and appealing to a modern society yeah um but yeah i mean i don't know i like like you said, like I, like you were saying, like how do people listen to that stuff? And like a big thing with me is like I, I like recognition. Like I like things to be recognizable. So like that's why, sure. like again, I have my Spotify playlist when I'm streaming. Like ninety nine percent of the time, it's gonna be a song everybody's heard because it, sure. it, it's catchy. It's it's the same reason you have sure. cover bands, right? Sure. Yeah, so of it's one of those things where you go in and and it, right. It just, but at that point, you're not hook. listening for you. You're listening for your audience, which that's cool. But I mean. As I would go, I, I don't do that anyway. So well, it's the same. I'm listening play. for me, it's, it's, well, and it's funny because the thing is, is that like the one thing I've noticed, you know. Oh, one second. Let's kill the momentum of the conversation. Right. The one thing that I've noticed, you know, I, I'm I'm 44 years old now, so I've I've been around for a while, and and uh, and and hanging out with. You know, like right around 30 years old is kind of the point when most people's tastes calcify. And they basically they basically become most of their music listening is sort of a 
and it's, it's like a nostalgia blanket, mm -hmm. right? They like listening to the music that they used to listen to when they were a kid because it reminds them of being young and excited, you know, and that, and that's, and that's most by the point, by the time, I mean, occasionally somebody makes it at 35 or 37, but for the most part, most people I know, even musician friends of mine, you know, who should know better right around 30 years of age, their, their music tastes begin to calcify, you know? And, and that, and, and, and it's just, for my money, it's because, you know, like there's, I really think it's just because there's, there's not a lot of, if, if people were treating music like, if people were, were actively saying, hey, this is my journey and this is my music and this is my life. And if you like me and if you think I'm like, if you like what I, if you like my perspective, I'm going to keep delivering on that perspective in ways that's going to interest you, you know, and, and we're going to go on this lifelong journey together. You know, the thing is, I don't see a lot of that. I do see that there is, there is, you know, that's for me, that's Elliot Smith. And that's, uh, uh, you know, th that's, I mean, that was the Beatles while they were together. That's, I mean, that's what made them, they, they're every out, like, like if you listen to, if you listen to the early Beatles and you listen to later Beatles, very different people making those records, you know, um, and that's just a big, that's a big representation, you know? Um, but uh, for me, yeah, for me, the thing is, is that like, it, it's gotta, like the music has to change because the people change and your perspective changes. And if it's just the same, the thing is, is like, then you're making the music for the fans and not, and not for the art. You know, you're not, you're not like, you're not, I mean, unless, I mean, that's not so. The, I mean, the Ramones, you know, I mean, the Ramones, the, I, I don't think they had in them anything other than the Ramones style music, you know? All right, I, I can see, you know, but I don't know. It's 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 definitely a sticky wicket, and, and and it's definitely something I spend a lot of my time contemplating. I really do, because the thing is, is that like because I because I try with all my heart and and absolutely everything that I do to tr I try to to make art. I try to take my life, take my tra the travails, the triumphs, my personal woes, and the the woes of my personal friends, my personal triumphs, and the, and the and the triumphs of my friends, and turn them into song in ways that translate and say, hey, this is our life, you know, this is my life, you know, hopefully you identify with it. Hopefully you know you're not alone. I don't think I can think of a better way to end the show. No, I was hoping that you were going to end it on that sincere yeah. note because really, where do you go from there? Right, yeah, he just, he peaked. That was, <laughs> but he, he, that, he, was, he, he's, that, he's was that was the climax. It's time right. to wipe up. But he's, <laughs> he, he basically just summed up what it is for me to listen to music. Yeah. Know? He made he he just unintentionally and, and completely respectfully made me made me feel like an idiot for listening to cookie cutter crap. Oh, also at the age <laughs> no, of thirty, you solidify your style, right? I, 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 but I, I mean that I mean that like in a good way. Like you're like, look, yeah. there's there's legitimate stuff out there. There's stuff with passion and and love and creativity behind it out there. And and really truthfully, and and I and I think that even the people making the top forty stuff, like they're not they're not going to the studio going like, all right, let's go make a shitty record. No, they. they I mean, <laughs> I, I know I know I know that they, that that they, even even in even in that 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 smoke filled like like up smoke up their ass, like bubble that they live in, they're out there trying to make the best. I mean, that's the thing is like that's the great thing about music, man, and that's the great thing about musicians is like when you're actually making it, it's like, it's electric and it's awesome and it's magical and it's just you and the music you're making, you know? It just so happens that like, you know, people go in and go, hey, go, we got some notes, you know? And it's like, do you listen to those notes? If you listen to those notes, you're a corporate show. <laughs> no, 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 I just, <laughs> but it's true. No, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> No, but no, you, you, you summed it up great. So yeah, on that note, we will certainly turn it around. Mike, uh, why don't you let people know where they can find you, where and when they can find your live music playing and other shenanigans and yeah, uh, where so they can I, get I, your music. I live stream five days a week, Monday through Friday. You can, I, I, what I would suggest, because it does change, because I, I, I try to accommodate the Europeans as well as, as the, well as the Americans and then occasionally the Australians. Um, so uh, I do, but the, Fucking Asians, screw no, 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 no. Oh, I love, I love all the Asians. Asians they're all shills. Jesus. Yeah. Um, so I, I, so I, I stream five days a week. Uh, just go to Mike TV Live, uh, uh, Twitch TV, Mike TV Live, and, and you can find my schedule there. And you can also find links to on there to everything else I do. And I'm always, always generating new music. Every single week, I've got new songs. Every single week, I've got new recordings. And uh, there you go. There you go. And remember. 
buy his albums. Don't stream them unless you're going to stream it 107 times. <laughs> Front to I mean, back. If it's, if it's like a 21-song record, you can, you, know, you can stream like 80 times, and that's fine. <laughs> Well, that works. So again, you can catch all of Mike's stuff over at twitch.tv slash Mike TV live. And uh, be sure to do that because uh, he's been a great guest. And he's been a lot of fun. I, I'm a, I'm, he's got a new fan out of me. Yeah, for sure. Hey, yeah. Two, two new fans. And thank you again for bearing with us and all our technical difficulties. Yeah, yeah and, no, thanks. Yeah, that's it's probably my fault. So it was <laughs> so, so with me. Uh, it was almost fun. That's really never happened before in three years of this. Right. And the fact that you went right along with it. Yeah, and we, right? like, we found a rhythm and it yeah. worked. And, Way to roll yeah. with it, man. Yeah. Uh, and uh, everybody, everybody in the chat, or most everybody in the chat stuck around. A big thank you to those that did. And um, for those listening to the uh, the podcast recording, obviously that, that Google Hangouts flaw came through again. So uh, if you're a first time listener, uh, go back and check out the past shows. Like it, it doesn't typically happen that way. Uh, but again, you know, we are at the whim of how our technology wants to work for us. So we are sometimes halfway across the country, sometimes halfway across the world. And uh, we do what our wonderful technological gods let us do. So again, for Mike, that is Mike, uh, twitch.tv slash Mike TV live. So go subscribe to his, to his Twitch channel. I can't talk tonight. Subscribe to his Twitch channel and check out his stuff. And uh, yeah, no, I can't wait to hear more. I, I legitimately like, you know, you talk up a guest, you make him feel good about coming on. But in all sincerity, like, I can't wait to hear more of your stuff. I'm excited to hear it. Hey, right on. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you want, I, I can I can definitely turn you on to like, you know, I, there definitely are songs like every record's got the misanthropic songs, you know, like the I hate I hate everyone and I die, motherfucker, die and those kind of songs. Right. It's definitely. There's definitely like the the heartfelt, like, like earnest love. So like, I, I kind of run the full gamut, like, you know, nice because. You know, because I'm a human being. And, and I like that. And that's how I am. Like, my my shuffle is, like, again, it's, like, the sappy country song to, like, old school Slipknot to, like, Dead Mouse. Like, just, it yeah. goes everywhere. And then there's some, yeah. there's some John Prine on there. And, and like, it, it hits everything. And that's, awesome. I try and be as open with it as I can. And, again, a big thanks of, big thanks is to this guy for getting me to listen to stuff I wouldn't normally listen to. <laughs> Not letting me touch his radio in his car. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so that's where you can get Mike, Mike TV live. Uh, as for this show, you can catch the show live every Friday night at 9 30 PM Eastern time at twitch.tv slash inked geek studios or inked geek studios TV. If you would like to help to support this show, uh, and the rest of inked geek studios, please consider going to patreon.com slash I G studios. Uh, you know, toss us a dollar as Annalisa would say, who unfortunately did not make it in the chat tonight. Give them a dollar. So we have a little thing that we do. It's, we, you get a bonus for being live and a bonus for being patron. If you're live, you typically would get the pre-show and post-show. Um, tonight, obviously, was a little janky with scheduling everything else. Uh, and then if you don't make the live show, you get a one-week early access to the pre- and post-show content on Patreon uh, for the recorded version. So go there and you know support independent media, whether it's music or podcast or, or art, drawing, anything. Um, support independent artists because they uh you know put heart and soul into it <laughs> i guess Amen. is that what we do that's what mike does <laughs> we uh, yeah maybe him I, I'm... mostly hearts but it's not my heart it's the hearts of friends and the people you've chopped up and fed to, the, fed to the dinosaurs that you have sex with <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh so yeah that'll do it for us tonight a big thank you to the live audience a big thank you to everyone that downloaded the podcast we will see you in a week with Tawny Plattis from the Dirty Bits podcast. And then we uh, we go into... That starts February, right? Mm. Yeah, that starts February. We've got Tawny Plattis from Dirty Bits. The week following that, we've got J.F. Dubow, Ryan Elliott, Hi. and then we finish off February with Vlado Kekok. I don't know how to say his last name. I hope I'm not butchering it. We'll find out in a month. But anyway, uh, I hope the rest of January goes great for everybody, and we will see you guys in February. So for Mike, for Brandon, for myself, and for the rest of Inked Geek Studios, thank you all very much for listening, and we will see you next week. You've been listening to an Inked Geek Studios podcast. For this and other great shows, go to inkedgeekstudios.com. And let's kill...